Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. At the beginning of June, I let you know that Windows 11's notepad was going to be getting text formatting. And I asked a question in that video, which will be linked, is it losing its simplicity? Check the video out for more info. Now, just to let you know that the basic text formatting features have now arrived in my region. And this has been rolling out using a controlled rollout very slowly to different regions at different times and today I noticed I finally received it and the last update I received for Notepad was sometime last week so this looks like it is definitely a controlled server side update for the text formatting features. So here you can see the formatting toolbar that's now at the top of the app. Now just to go through this step by step in case you're unaware First of all, you can click on H1, which lets you pick your preferred heading, as an example, title, subtitle, subheading, section, subsection, and body. And the next would be lists, so bulleted list or numbered list. You can, you can make your text bold. You can apply italic. And you can add a link, display text, and you can link to an existing web page if you insert the obviously the web page address. And you can clear formatting, and you can also use control and space, which basically puts everything back to how it was. And then over and above that, you can head down to the bottom of the app and you can click on formatting view to switch to Markdown Syntax, which is basically a raw view. And unlike Formatting View, Syntax View lets you turn, as an example, hashes into headings, you can use asterisks, and so on. And this text formatting is also known as Markdown, and it's turned on by default in the settings. Now, in the previous video, as mentioned, which will be linked, I said, is it losing its simplicity? So the good news with Notepad it's been a basic text editor now for as long as I can remember in Windows. And obviously over the last year and a bit, Microsoft has been adding a lot more features into the Notepad app. And that's obviously because they have deprecated WordPad and a lot of those features are now making their way into Notepad plus a lot of Copilot and AR features which you need to be subscribed to 365 to use. And as I've mentioned previously, if you don't want any of this extra fluff and you don't want to just keep Notepad simple as it used to be, you can turn all these features off. And if you want to turn text formatting off, you head into your settings. And yeah, it's listed under text formatting, formatting setting. You just toggle that off, turn off, head back, and you can see all of that is turned off. And that also applies to all the other features that Microsoft has included. There's basically settings for all of those to be turned on or off according to your own personal choice and preference. And you can pop on formatting, head back, and there's your text formatting, basic text formatting options once again at the top of the app. So if you are using Notepad on a regular basis, this might be a nice addition. But as mentioned, the nice thing I always say is that at least we can turn it off if it's not required. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.